Hello everyone, uh, my name is Josh. Um, I am the new pioneer and youth worker at um, St. Mark's in Haydock um, in St. Helens. And um, it's a really exciting time um, for me um, as I join this team at St. Mark's. Um, and I just want to wish you a happy Easter. Um, and I'm going to be sharing a little bit with you um, today um, on, on Easter and um, about the Good Shepherd story. Um, and this is one of the stories that I really like in the Bible. I like obviously lots of stories in the Bible, but this is one of my favourites for sure. Um, and I kind of wanted to share about um, this story and how it links into um, to Easter um, and how it links into um, obviously the story that we all know about um, Jesus dying on the cross, but um, being resurrected again. Um, and so for those of you that don't know the Good Shepherd story, um, it's all about um, a shepherd that had um, a flock of sheep and a hired man, a workman that, that had a flock of sheep. Um, and often in the Bible and often we see pictures of um, an artwork of Jesus being a shepherd and we see um, lots of pictures of him with sheep. Um, and in this story, there was a, a flock of sheep of a hundred um, and a wolf came and scattered the, the flock of sheep. Um, and I'm going to read to you um, the story. So it's from John 10, um, 11 to 18. And this talks a lot and this explains more about the story. So I'll read this for you now. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacked, attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice. And there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life, only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my, of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This commandment I receive from my father. So I love this Bible verse and I love this Bible story. And it talks about how there's a flock of sheep that get scattered and, and lots of the sheep are together. 99 of the sheep are together. But this shepherd really cares about the one sheep that isn't there. The one sheep that is missing. And this um, this shepherd goes looking for for this sheep. When a hired man um, is there, he, he doesn't own the sheep. He doesn't have authority over the sheep and he runs away um, and he is scared of the wolf. But the shepherd stays and the shepherd looks after the sheep, just like our father looks after us um, and loves us. Um, and we know that and we know the love, but sometimes we don't know that. And sometimes the people that don't, know jesus yet don't know the lord yet will um will not really understand that and and i kind of want to say to you watching this today that if you even don't know um the lord yet if you don't know if you don't have a relationship with the lord yet don't be afraid because he still loves you and and just like this story he the shepherd goes after the one sheep that is lost because he will listen the sheep will listen um and just like us there's loads of us um that are uh, have a relationship with with Jesus and have a relationship with God but there's others that don't have that relationship um, and just like this this Bible verse talks about that one sheep the one that's lost the one that doesn't yet know um, the Lord is still cared for and still cared about and don't be afraid of his love don't be afraid of um, the acceptance of Jesus because it is an amazing amazing thing um, and in this Easter time, we kind of talk a lot about how Jesus died and was r risen again. Um, and that is the gospel. That is, um, that is everything that we believe um, that Jesus did for us. He came to this earth to, um, to renew our um, sins. And to, to so we 
as humans um, can be forgiven from our sins. Um, and, and Jesus looks out for us, even if we make mistakes. And we all make mistakes. No one is, no one is perfect except for Jesus Christ himself. Um, and so we all make mistakes. But that is exactly why Jesus came down on this earth for us. And that is exactly why um, we, we love him so much because he is a forgiving God and he is a loving God. Um, and we know that. And I really pray that you would know that too over this Easter time. And, and as we link these stories together about the good shepherd um, and Jesus dying on the cross and, and really the Lord looking out for us. And he sent his only son to find us, to forgive us, um, to die for us so we can be forgiven. And I think that is such a powerful thing. And it's something that we need to be reminded of, but also you need to know, maybe someone that doesn't yet know him, that he loves you um, and that he cares for you and he, he will come looking for you. Um, and so I, I just pray this um, this Easter time that you would really open up your heart to him, that you would really try and accept him um, and be open to his love and, and open to him to finding you in such a time where we, we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus and, and the powerfulness of Jesus that he de defeated death. I pr really pray that you would open yourself up to him and you would open your mind and heart up to his love. Um, I hope you all have a great Easter. Um, and it's great that I can introduce myself to you all. Um, and hopefully I'll see you all very soon. Hopefully you'll get to see more of me. And like I said, have a great Easter and remember that in this time, Jesus loves you um, and Jesus came to die for to, to die for you and to forgive you. Um, and, and yeah, have a great Easter. Bye.